I mean, I swear the attention to detail and the little things like that. Holy cow. about that. Okay. Well, if y'all haven't figured out, we are back with some more star build right here. Uh, let's see. Fine. I'll begin the docking procedure. Have no regrets. We are no more at war. <laughs> Yeah, for now. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get ready to dock. Oh, hey, we can dock right now. Okay. Maybe we're just gonna have to get closer. This fucking ship, that looks weird. Got like a ring around it, and then some good boomerang look. And uh, and that skill point real fast. Let's see here. What y'all want? The two of them. The cockpit of y'all ship? Oh. Hello. Nice. Again. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. You remember the emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix. I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Uh huh. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship. Demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. Uh... <laughs> I agree, killing you and taking your artifacts are both on my list. Yes. Let's talk about what really matters. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place. A gateway. It is where we were reborn. Not a relatively expendable dusty anymore, are you? Look at where you've ended up. What? Uh... I didn't see him die. I seen him. I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> this universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining Oops. artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. 
That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. The fuck are you talking about, dude? Oh, that would explain why he's the only other person that has fucking seen these visions. Besides us. Uh, but both of you are trying to keep people from it, so this unity is where the artifacts are from. Symbols? They are all connected. I figured that. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. <coughs> all the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. Mm -hmm. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? Oh, let's keep her. Okay, I never really paid attention to what he looked like. He's got a scar over? Oh, I didn't notice that either. Yeah, let's try that. It means I've seen thousands of universes, collected their artifacts, been to their temples. You have a small taste of their power, but it keeps going. Okay, so. If I remember correctly in science, the galaxy is a group of solar systems. And at first when you say universes, that's what I was thinking. Um, different galaxies outside of all of these different solar systems and stuff because um, I believe that's what we're I believe we're supposed to be in some type of rendition of the Milky Way which you know our actual galaxy that we live in and shit um, and I was thinking he's talking about different galaxies but you no know, he keeps saying universes and I'm thinking um, what Barrett or whatever um, dude over there said about on his universe I died. So it was like parallel universes, like different things happening, like an alternate reality type of stuff. And things. So what's going on here? So the unity might be whatever it is to jump between realities, different um, parallel universes, or whatever, ripple in time, type ordeal or something, maybe. It's all connected, you know, unified unity. Possibly. You're learning. Oh, hi. My other okay, self thank you. wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Mm hmm So I help one of you, we combine our artifacts, enter the unity. Murder my friend, whatever the war is going on between you two, I want no part of it. Um Bingo. Okay. I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the hunter's. 
Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Okay, so... I didn't really pay attention to what the difference was <laughs> in there. In the their approach. Oh uh, shit, okay. I'll tell you everything I can. Okay. I know we're not the same people we met in our universes. Still, it's good to see you again, old friend. Okay, what exactly is when all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it you can reach the unity. Yeah, the and from there, you can become starborn. You've seen the terror the hunter causes. Every time a starborn goes through the unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. Right. Just let me have all of it and then nobody else can get it. Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard. But each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again. As yours won't have its real me. <laughs> it's not an easy experience to describe. But the unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become starborn. We'll be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? Okay. The unity is meant what for the American people should have the powers. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. You might think the emissary is on your side, but your persistence is what forced them to tell you the truth. Remember that. Same with you. I mean, you kept wanting to attack us too. They enter the unity, take artifacts from others, employ force, all the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision. Not someone else's. The emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter, but the unity itself doesn't judge. Hmm. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. Mm, it's new. Mm -hmm. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit, you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary to decide what to do about you. Yeah. <laughs> no end up having this meeting at this time but it's the usual affair can we make peace no oh how tragic honestly I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending 
and its bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the Unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Mm-hmm. Well, we've talked to both of them. They want us to leave? Go somewhere? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, this is glass. That's cool. Where else does this go? I'll just try here. I want this ship. Well, it's over here. Got a second floor. Like a little balcony. Can I hijack the ship? You gonna let me? Oh god, it, it, it will. Um. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Last couple times we fought them, we have. Fucking took forever to put it down. Before you leave, I want to give you something. What? A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here, to open the way. Okay. All I ever wanted was answers. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure that they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Okay. Oh. That's the end of that mission. I think we're going to go ahead and do another one. Go ahead and go to the moon. Okay, moon base key added. Turn to the lodge. Final glimpses. Okay, so we're gonna go do unearth. Just actually going to the moon of Luna. It's a, the proper term, or proper name of the moon is Luna. Luna surface. So it's like that. It's the object that circles the planet basically uh so yeah let's go ahead and do this nova galactic research station yeah we're gonna jump all the way there okay i was about to say what the fuck was that was we hitting their ship or something maybe So we need to land here. You know, I forget all we wanted to go to the moon. Oh, that'd be cool. And here we are. I'm in our reality. But, in a fucking game. Right, let's go ahead and exit the ship. I think I'm overweight. Yep. Oh well. This area, fuck you. Um, I wish there was a little fucking thing right here where we could sell stuff at. An actual little landing area, but I don't see anything. I'm just gonna keep on picking up more and more. Whee! <laughs> Does that chest out the fucking gravity here? station is easily over 100 years old. Original Nova Galactic construction is my guess. 
built to stand the test of time. Uh huh. Okay, come on, open. There we go. I don't know if we should go in here. Uh, it looks like it's all connected, so let's, uh... Well, actually, we might have to go in there and then walk all the way through. Is somebody in there? No, that's something else. I thought... Probably the fucking, uh... Lines on this glass or something. It looked like something was moving as I walked by. I was like, wait a minute. Open that too. Anything up here? Look at all these lots are still on. I'll be solar powered. Or something like that. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. The one we look at, let's go around here. Yes, floor. What all we can loot, possibly? Maybe all right, nothing there. Safety first, PPE. Um, okay, but that the state of this facility. Yep. I wonder why this place was abandoned in such haste. Everybody's trying to get away from Earth. Too close. Guarantee it. Need to worry about wire. Do this. Okay, that's it. Time what? to sell some of your junk. Oh, you shut the fuck up, woman. Oh, let's see her. Another one. This goes back. There, yeah. Okay. Here, I just circled around. Get in here. Let's see. Nope. Oh. Guess we kind of looks everywhere down here except upstairs. We might go do that. Oh, we didn't go in here yet. Okay. Lockers. I don't feel like opening those up. I have some space suits or something. I'm really more interested in ammo. Maybe some guns. Ah! Can I be a master yet? Here. There. Hmm. Yeah. Down here and go ahead and get on the computer. Uh, I want to remind the research team that Voltaire, the high uh, uh, proprietary supercomputer that is currently being constructed exclusively for the use of in Project Prism. It is not meant for your own personal projects. Yes, it's amusing to see just how many decimal points of high it can calculate, how many bits of encryption it can brute force. Or whatever you can simulate table tennis with the perfect aerodynamic simulation. There will be no Oh my okay. god. Oh hey, I can't read that with that. Okay, we are happy to announce that the first test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I'd like everyone to suit up and join us on the roof at nine hundred hours. E. Reminder to please link all watches to Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, our partner will also be on radio for the launch. We'll be recording the events and so be on your behavior. Huh? What am I doing? Pay attention to what it popped up. Look, we gotta go to the roof. Let's go back outside. I didn't notice that. Well, that's not how we go back outside. Hey, oof. Oh, lay people. All up in my ways. Here, how we get back out of this thing. It's over here, wasn't it? We're seeing the stairs going up there. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> At least now we should have any problem with the starboard and trying to attack us. I know when we decided to keep the artifacts on our ship, that was going to be a thing. And we just had it pop up that one time. We kind of uh, jumped from there and then ended up having that meeting. Engines in up time almost complete. Total time it's five minutes to the two seconds. I don't sketch it. How are the helium three valves holding out? We we'll double check the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs free. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One miracle of science at a time, Canaveral. Counting down in five, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Canaveral, are you breathing? All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in... <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years, Nova. Mm hmm. Go to NASA. Go to NASA? Are we gonna go to Earth? Really? I don't know, unless it's like the NASA space station or something in space, but I figure it's NASA, NASA, like, like in, where is it like, isn't there one like in Florida and one in Texas, I think? Or two big space station things. NASA, I believe. I don't know, like where they launch rockets. So, hey, let's go. Let's go home. Let's we'll see how Earth has handled all these years. Let's see if everybody just kind of left it, you know. We said Earth would be a better place without human. If that's true. All right, let's see. Here. We going? Where are we going? Oh, I mean, there might still be people there. Whoa, whoa. The Earth? Oh my god, it's so small from over here. That'd be bigger. Is it from the moon? Huh. Yeah. I think it might look something like that big from the moon or something. Oh well, oh, where are we going? That's the launch tower. Oh, where, where are we going? First person? Only a first person here. Right, thank you. That's the ship. No fucking plant life or anything here, is there? Five types of resources on the planet. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's the starborn born people. What the fuck they're doing here? Um. Hello? Why does it say survey 74% when I haven't done anything on here? I'm not quite understanding what that survey means. On the way inside. 
We do, I was about to say. But. They doing something out there? I don't know if that's their ship making that noise or what. What's this? That is. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, was that me making the noise? That? I didn't notice that. Let's see it go kind of blurry. say where this is at but if they was trying to get off earth fast enough they probably would have well, I don't know how fast it would be if they fucking had to build all these but you know, they could add some others built somewhere the most likely way into the NASA facility would be via an elevator shaft taking us straight down hopefully the system is still in operation mm-hmm Why are you bothering to carry all that junk? Oh, you know, I didn't know what it was, so let's pick it up. Ah. Around here, here we go. Power required. We need power cell, and I've had power cells before. This ain't got, oh, psh. the fuck, there's some right here. That wasn't too hard. Here and take some more shit. up here bed packs so not where we're supposed to go get up there somehow we somehow get up here maybe do all these holes Is that what we're meant to do Oh shit, I fell. Damn it. Nope. You don't fucking really go up that far. Come on. Yeah, I got a feeling that's what we gotta be doing is fucking... I'm in the shit, maybe even fucking climbing up over there somewhere. Oh, hey. I don't know what you talk about. Okay. Found this. I'm gonna go ahead and try to heal that. Got that taken care of. Yeah, this is what we gotta do. Over here. And make our way back over there. Ah! Okay. I know I hit jump, but I guess he didn't want to jump. I don't really see anything for us to loot, really. Decent, anyways. It's clear the gantry was in loading position. I wonder what prevented this particular colony ship from lifting off. I have no idea. The fact that it looks like everything's covered up in sand and shit, and then New Atlantis was fucking getting pretty covered and staying there at that one point. We 
fucking warned her, huh? Go in here. Oh, she kind of came in and waiting for us for whatever reason. Just wanted to see if there's anything in here. Oh shit, wrong button. Ah, oh, come on. Down here? Nope, not really. Okay, so we gotta jump across this. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> They're going a little crazy there. Power required. Where we gotta put the power in at? Got some power cells over here. Uh, it's gonna open. Yes, sir. Oh, that was the key that they gave us, ain't it? I know this is some type of key card or something. Wired. That. Is there another one? Just that. Okay. Go. Okay, found information about NASA. It's telling me how to turn the flashlight on and off. Yes, I am well aware of this. Oh, I keep pushing the button, not holding it in. Well aware. Oh, whoa. We got three attachments. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Station log. Dr. Yeah. Judith Tatian. We'll just sit here and listen to this. The recent delivery will probably repeat or start something else. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they've brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Huh? Yeah. Go back. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatian. I have been trying to cozy up to Dr. Isa, Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand refs, checking who comes in and out. I joke that maybe he found a little gray man doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, Metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I... I think I'm being invited into the lab. Hmm. Station log. Dr. Judith Yatien. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half-hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then, I got to see the lab. I... I don't know how much I should say, but the periodic table just got thrown out the window. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Oh, Sarah's kind of walking over there to us. I was like, what? <laughs> Or else you meant business. Okay. Uh, I want to go down, do I? Step over here. Crouch. I can't go in there crouched. Oh shit. Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Okay, no. I'm out. Thank you. Sure, if we're supposed to come down here or go up there or what? Look at all this structural damage. We need to be careful around here. 
surprised the fucking dialogue didn't pop up for that. The dialogue with the fucking oh subtitles. Some of the artifacts here are from the earliest years of NASA. Oh, what a shame all of this was left behind to deteriorate. Yep. What a shame. Dig it. Stuff. Project Mercury. Okay, so we can get a little information about some NASA type stuff. I don't really see any boxes that we can loot. damn thing in here to loot like what is the fucking point it goes back around whatever huh already not much left of this geology laboratory ironically the surrounding rock appears to have sealed the fate of this part of the facility Yep. Okay. Here. I don't know if we can go through there. Let's maybe back up here. Go this way. I'm trying to keep my speed kind of lower so we're not running out of O2. We ain't gotta stop all the fucking time. If that was locked, there must be something they don't want us to find. Exactly. <laughs> Thought process with all locked things. I got it. Probably start bitching a little bit because I got too much crap. stuff oh. power required where do we put the power in I think there's more power cells uh, da, da, da. but in here was it wait go over here okay oh we can't go that way okay I I've tried that didn't work, so maybe back down here. Their door. Oh. How the fuck are we supposed to? Oh, wait, here it is. Activate. Okay. 
You have to fucking put a power cell in there. Let it flip the switch. Fucking music makes me feel like something's about to go down. Keeps getting more and more dense in a way. I'm gonna come across some fucking mutants, alien type fucking enemies or something in here. Got some power cells. I ain't gonna worry about these. We need them. I got them. Are required. Yep, I know. Okay, right over here. I don't know how many more I got. I knew I had at least that one. Go ahead and grab these. Just in case. Oh, you shut the fuck up. We might need these. You start in. think we're going to end up getting to wherever the fuck we need to go and this thing just keeps seeming like it goes on and on and on there is a turret oh shit yep and it's active I was just thinking we hadn't fucking had a fight anything or shoot anything in the wall robots Why am I not turning invisible? Okay, there I go. What's that? Come on. Come on. Oh, damn, damn it. Come on. Oh, shit. I need a few. Get back in here. There we go. Did it go down? Sure did. Take whatever it has. Oh shit. Oh fucking reload bullshits. Oh, what I thought you just reloaded! What the fuck you doing? Golly. Come on. There we go. Look at that. It appears we've found one of Vasco's long lost relatives. To find out. Mm-hmm. It looks like. We gotta go this way. Are required. It's not powered up. Here, where's this gotta go? Where's it gotta go? What's over here? Right there, is it on the other side of this? Where did you learn to pick them? You know what, on second thought, I don't want to know. Oh, I've been picking locks since way back when. You never know when it's gonna come in handy. And I seriously not even have to fucking pick the lock. <laughs> Really? I didn't even see the. Wait, no, that. Somewhere else, okay. I didn't even see the fucking cord to go that way. Okay. Down, are we going? This is quite an impressive facility. Your fucking the logistics is. it must have taken to build it this deep underground. <laughs> it's astonishing. Oh, huh. yeah. 
Now the computer. Procedures. Project log. Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. I'm setting up a meeting with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore. But further work is going to have to take place in space. Somewhere with abundant helium-3 and with a civilian partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering gravitational folds pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us? It's all going to be possible. Hmm. Project log. Dr. Judith Petzian. I watched the Gravjet tests from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming and worrying. It could take years. Decades before we know what all these side effects of operating a grav drive can be, but no one wants to hear that right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, there's it, uh, so we'll keep on going. If uh, there's a way to access the deeper sections of this storage area, I'm certain we'll find it. Oh, I'm sure we will, too. Right. Let's see here. Y'all got in here. Weapons and shit. The got a bolt. You know what? I want to try something. We have a cutter. Yeah. Holy shit. It worked. Man, I swear the attention to detail and the little things like that. Holy cow. Oh shit. This is a, a little vacuum thing. Oh wow, look at that. Is there any way we would have been able to get in here any other way? Was that it? I think we would have been in there. Basically on the outside looking in. That is cool. Okay. I don't know if there's really anything in here for us. There's another fucking door for a vent. Maybe we could have opened that. Yeah, I don't know where this is at. Man, all this is fucking. Oop. Done that before. Mm -hmm. I want to see what all goodies back here. Oh shit! Oh, let's go another way. I got more digi picks. That was a little goodies in here. The phone away. Thank you. Alright. Okay, to this door. Okay. Here's this. Wait, was we supposed to do that all along? Got those uh, little spots to cut. Look, like this is where we came. Huh? We might have came from that direction somehow. Okay. I never actually got to visit your labs, 
back when we were working on the Grav Drive projects. Seems like ancient history now. Only thing we're doing these days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now, Project Demeter, you want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we're seeing. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting, causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I... just want to be sure. It's, it's not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? Come on, back. Thank you. what happened to all the plant life here on earth and why it oh looks the way it God. does the graph drives destroyed earth yeah and at the core of the first drive an artifact uh-huh is it what you want me oh shit go back down okay yeah Oh, did I never play this last one? And if you're listening My bad. to this, then you probably already know the truth. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. But I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I I hope you'll accept this confession, whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I oh, met damn. myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere spluttering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, 
music. Lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the grav drive. This artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. Huh. Okay. So, what we want out there? What we gotta do? Not see. Oh, right there. Okay. What's that? Let's see what we're supposed to be doing here. There we go. Ooh, okay. Gravity's back on. See what else down here? I feel like that's probably where we came from. I ain't gonna go. I know I'm all over the fucking place. But uh, yeah, so fucking all that shit happened because of the grab drive. Why on earth looks the way it does? And is that possibly what might be happening? Jenison or whatever it's called. Uh, how do I fucking get out there now? I don't even remember how, where we came from. Is it in here? Yep. Come on. But yeah, is that what's happening there with New Atlantis? Does it look kind of like a dust storm type ordeal. Of course, it's just in that one spot, and that was over there. Ah, the spaceport, wasn't it? Oh, oh that shit. jump looked painful. Yeah, it, it kind of was. Can I lower this somehow, maybe? To do. Oh wait, no, we can go up here and probably just walk on in. I can't wait. I was looking for something like this while ago and I didn't see anything, but yep, here it is. There we go. Station. Oh shit. Arrived on the surface of Earth. We need to discuss what you found. And it looks like other Starborn got here before us. So you might have company. Ah damn it. Oop shit. I say I know I seen them fucking land while ago. But I guess it was a different fucking ones. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to get on? This? Oh, we ain't got much fucking ammo on this. Alright, let's switch. What gun is this? That ain't got much either. We're gonna use it. Guess we gotta get out of here. Is that what we gotta do? Leave NASA. Can't just fast travel somewhere. I probably could. I could probably actually fast travel somewhere, but I'll probably have to come back here. Oh, I might be able to go to my ship. See how this works out. Oh shit. Now. Fucking scared the fuck out of me. He ain't very fucking strong compared to some of those others. Oh fuck. Give it your best shot. You know what? Fuck you. Come on. There we go. Are there others in here? Yep. There is. Ah, oh, that gets out of ammo. Um. Oh, nope, that's out of ammo. There we go. This thing ain't. Oh shit, we need a fucking heal. Come on. You ain't strong as the hunter. Come on. Die already. Come on. Oh, shit. Come on. 
Come on. Die. Come on. Reload. Don't die on me. Or don't fall on me. Die. I want to be able to get your shit. Come on. Get another one. Don't be leaving me. Oh, son of a bitch. Fucking reload. Oh my fucking god, why ain't you reloading? Oh, we fucking miss most of that shit. Look out! Yeah, for what? Oh, fucking real. Is that another one? Oh my god. I don't think that's the same guy. Oh, it might be. Come on, dude. Die. Oh, wait. He has a shield? There we go. Come on. Oh. Quit fucking die. For fucking having to reload. I don't know what I'm talking about. Leave me alone. I want you to die. I don't want to have to quit fucking having to reload. Ah, okay, so now we gotta get out of this fucking place. I feel there's a door down here. Did we ever take this door? I think we ever did. More shit I don't need. She would tell me how to fucking get out of here. Need to go up, so maybe going through this room might help. I don't know. I don't know where to go. I do wonder if that was all of the, uh, uh, car porn that's going to be in here. Those two or so we found. Hmm. I don't know. I think we was having a better luck the other direction, wasn't we? Maybe. Will this fucking tell us? Not that. This. Come on, what way do we need to go? Yeah, okay, this way. Thank you. This way? Yep. Oh, let's just kind of follow these marks, I guess. We need to go up here. I know, I know. I'm getting pretty fucking high on CO2. This school's right back in here. Okay, so what way are we going? This way. I can remember how to fucking backtrack the way we came. It'd be helpful, but I forget shit. Way too fucking easily. Come on. Oh shit, nope, there's more. Fuck. That's gonna be it. Oh fuck. Duplicate. Fuck the duplicate. Oh wait, did that duplicate me? Kinda look like a duplicate me almost. My fucking suit and helmet and fucking weapon. Come on. 
I can reload, damn. Die, dude. Come on, reload. You know what? Fuck you. Oh shit. The fuck is that? Oh my god, so there's multiple ones of them up here. Oh, I'm out of the fucking thing. Go add some more med stuff in that one slot. Hey, where you at? Where you at? Yeah, there you are. Oh, and I still got a fucking reload. Damn! Oh. Yeah, he's wearing my fucking armor and shit. Come on now. Duplicate needs to fucking die. This fucking starborn dude needs to fucking die. I need to fucking need some O2. Holy. Shooting his ass while he's not shooting us. Kind of floating everywhere. What we need. Let my O2 go up, my CO2 go down. Yeah. I see you up here, dude. Oh shit, there's another one. How many are there gonna be? Come on, reload. Hurry, 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 hurry. Ah, oh, fuck. You know what? Fuck y'all. I just wish I knew how to fucking get out of this place. I don't. Ah, oh, man, oh, man. Uh, there we go. There's that. Let's go, dude. this goes to oh over here this is how we get out hell yeah I think I fucking did it yeah come on okay so now where we gotta go this way we going up okay we're not going that way I ain't gonna worry about picking up anything else oh I'll say that and then there's one come on open the door Further we got, damn. At least the fucking Starborn's not way over here. Not yet, anyways. Um, I don't know. We need to cut that, or I don't think so. I think that would have helped us just the same amount as this is. Oh shit, no. I don't think we're alone. Come on, leave me alone. Oh shit, what the fuck? Why am I glowing? I don't know why I'm glowing. Oh shit, my fucking health. Oh shit, what happened to my fucking health? Okay. Oh shit, no. Oh. The fuck is making me go down? Damn. Come on. The fuck? No, oh, come on. Come on. Get up. Why is my fucking health not going up? Health slowly going down. I got radiation and shit. I don't like it. Oh my god. Where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Get, get, god damn. Oh, I'm out. Fucking health. Come on. 
Get up here. Oh, thank you. Fucks. Oh, fuck. Move. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, my O2 levels. Come on. Come on. I don't have any health things. I, I have literally no aid items that will help fucking healing me right now. I am completely out. I got some different fucking elements like burns and stuff to get rid of that shit, but about it. Uh, the fucking dead end. Wait, no, here. Okay. I don't know how the fuck we're supposed to get out of this place. I don't know what ever happened to fucking Sarah. Fucking somewhere she probably died. Ah, uh, man. Oh, well, at least our oxygen's back. He's fucking chasing me right now. We gotta go. Hopefully. Sir, there's an elevator thing. One of those star burn. Star born people fucking pop up here. Look at that. Oh, okay. Come on. I got fucking chaotic as hell in there. Hey, it's fucking daytime. Talk to Masari. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The fuck? Ah. Hey y'all. Let's not take fall damage here. We ain't got the fucking health for it. Hey, right, let's get the fuck out of here before fucking I die. Do you understand now why I asked you to come here? The for me to die? The secret of interstellar travel. For the fact that science fucking that killed Earth. Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world? And you can have all the settled systems. Uh, sacrificing Earth wasn't worth having grab drives. They're home. Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War, disease, famine, all the classics. Yeah, but now we just got Star Wars. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? And what gave Victor eyes of the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. Finally, common sense. Don't do this. Even if you agree with the hunter's methods, he's only looking out for himself. He ain't looking oh, out for I himself. Think we all know that. But I want you to succeed. You've never gotten this far before. I need to see what happens to you. Uh, alliance with the hunter seems like the winning strategy. I'm tired of both of you. Get to the end. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes, I also like picking winners. <laughs> You have made your choice. The usual place? The buried temple. Oh, yes, we'll be there. What? I'm sorry it's come to this. You and I better have a chat. Talk through the next steps. I have a little favor I want to ask you, too. Besides, there's no point going to the buried temple until all the other artifacts have been gathered. Your friends in Constellation should be able to help you there. They always seem to have a knack for finding the stragglers.
Alrighty, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos in. Leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Until next time, peace out. Ely, everybody love everybody.